guys, how's it going? So I am here with a planner lineup update. So I know it hasn't been super long since I posted my planner lineup, but it needs some updating already because some of them have already had to drop out of the ranks. <laughs> okay, so let's just go ahead and check out what I have going on. So in here is my work planner. So I am still using a happy planner girl goal getter planner with these gorgeous metal discs. If you want to see a full flip through of this planner, I will go ahead and link that down below and you can check it out. But this one I am using as my work planner. And so as I talked about before, I am a teacher in a virtual setting and I don't have a typical teaching schedule. So I communicate a lot with my students over the phone. So I'm booking appointments often and really just trying to organize my day hourly. So this has been amazing. If any of you guys work in any kind of job where you are booking appointments often, this is the planner for you for work. I am in love with this planner. I have never had a teacher planner work for me. I've always really wanted the teacher planner to work for me, but it just never did because I don't have a typical teaching schedule and I don't need to track lesson plans and that kind of thing. So the hourly planner is the perfect solution for my teaching position and I absolutely love it. I really hope there will be more hourly planners coming out. But if not, I did get the undated hourly planner so I can always add that if I need to. So I love the hourly planner for my work planner. Next is the trendsetter and this I'm using as my social media tracker and it has been a dream. I always try to make my own little social media inserts to go into my regular planner or my everyday planner but it just never worked out like I wanted it to. So I'm able to track all of my videos on the monthly spread in this planner and then I'm able to make actionable to-do lists for myself and use the habit tracker to make sure that I am on track with posting daily. So if you're new here, I do post daily and I kind of swap back and forth between mom and planner content. So feel free to check that out and stay along with us. Hit that subscribe button if you want to be with us. So I use this as my social media tracker and I love it. It's working incredibly. My recipe planner is just kind of my fun planner. So I've been pulling out recipes and I actually learned this trick from a good friend of mine, her channel is called At Home with Kita. I'll link her down below if you haven't heard of her, but she pulls out just a couple of recipes and puts them in her daily planner and then she works on them when she has her planner open basically and has extra time. So that's what I have been doing with this planner and it has been working really well. This is something that I see as more of like a keepsake and something that I can pull from. It's not something that I use every day and it's not something that I work in every day, but it is definitely still in the rotation. And then this. This is my Everyday Essentials Planner. It has a really fun cover on it right now. And it is my brain. I absolutely love this planner. However, I don't know if you guys have seen any sneak peeks of the new releases coming out, but there is another planner coming out. And in my mind, I'm calling it the new Everyday Essentials Planner. It's like a doodly seasonal planner that I just love. The only caveat is it is a horizontal planner. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be moving into that planner in July, if I'm going to pick that one up or what is going to go on. I love the Everyday Essentials Planner. I love the dividers and I do want to stay in one planner for 18 months. That is my goal, but I am drawn to this planner. So I'm definitely going to pick it up. You guys know that I buy planners like crazy and then I kind of scatter them <laughs> to the wind, but this planner is my life. It's my love. I love this planner so, so much. I love the seasonal aspect. I love the dividers. It's so gorgeous. And yeah, I just really, really love it. But if any of you guys are horizontal planners, I have been learning a lot about horizontal planning because I just want to see if it's something that could work for me as a daily planner. And I kind of feel like it can sometimes like, for example, as much as I love this planner, I don't necessarily utilize the monthly spread as much as I could. And I do a lot in here that's really decorative and that's so fun and awesome, but I don't necessarily track the things that I think I need to. I think I just write things from the monthly spread or things that I have going on that day. And sometimes I don't have a ton going on that day. So 
I'm wondering if I'm just kind of filling things in to track just to have something to write down in here. I don't know. I'm second guessing my whole setup. But for now, this planner is my love because it is so, so gorgeous. And yeah, those are the only planners that I am currently using. I do still have the Daydreamer over on my shelf, but honestly, we are a week away from February and I haven't written anything in it. It was supposed to kind of be my journal. I do think I am gonna try it out to see if I can use it as a horizontal everyday planner. Just, I might even like double plan until the other planner comes out in March. I don't know, we will just have to see. But for now, these are the planners that I love. These are the planners that have my heart and they are all so, so gorgeous. And I also, I have something coming. I have an order coming, I have, the extender rings that are metal coming. Oh, and I'm so excited. So all of my planners are going to be getting upgrades and I'm hoping that every single one of my planners now will have metal discs. I'm so excited and I hope that I can make this happen. So if you guys have updated your planner lineup already a month into the new year, feel free to leave me down below in the comments what has changed in your planner lineup, what you're loving, what you're not loving, and feel free to give me some tips. If you're a horizontal planner, let me know how it works for you. It's not going to be something that I want to use as a journal. I just don't have time to journal in my life right now. I know that it would be really good for me and I had every intention of journaling this year, but it's just not fitting into my schedule and it's just not something that I'm making a priority. So if that's how you use your horizontal planner, that's great, but I'm looking for someone who is using their horizontal functionally as an, an, as an everyday planner. So feel free to leave those down in the comments below and I hope everyone is doing well. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Caitlin and you are welcome to hit that red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you with us. If you are one of my current subscribers, make sure that you have those bell notifications turned on. I've been hearing lots and lots of stuff about my videos not showing up in subscription boxes and all kinds of stuff. So if you want to know when I post, feel free to hit that notification bell and you will know every single time I post a video. And if you want to connect with me on other social media, feel free to find me over on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And I would love to meet up with you guys there. And by the way, you guys have fun today.